guys, hope you're having a really wonderful day, whatever you're up to. Me and Jess have just taken a little wander around the local park and we were talking about the importance of stories. A few weeks ago, one of my friends got in my car and on the way to work, she asked me, why are you a Christian? What is your story? What is your testimony? And I only had a couple of minutes to answer before we got out of the car and it got me thinking off the back of it, our stories are really important. They impact the lives of those around us. And we see in the Bible, don't we, that Jesus constantly uses stories to tell us about him and his love. Um, and one of my favourite ones that he tells is the woman at the well and how he goes to the well and he meets this woman and he practically tells her her own story. Um, and she has this amazing time with Jesus and then goes back to her own village to tell her story of meeting Jesus and yeah. completely transforms the whole community. Um, and I love it because I think actually it's exactly the same now that yeah. our stories can do exactly the same as what that woman at the well did and I think sometimes we forget that. We do, and I think also we think that our stories are maybe too mundane, too mm. ordinary. For me, I definitely thought that. I grew up in a Christian home, I became a Christian at the age of eight years old off the back of a children's event at my local church. I've had some doubts along the way, some real big questions, but I've never particularly gone off of that path. I've always had my eyes fixed on Jesus. So whether your story is ordinary or whether your story is maybe more extreme like the woman at the well, we can know wholeheartedly that our our stories are important and our stories can carry a message and ultimately yeah. that message is the love of God and the transformational power that he has when we get into a relationship with him. I think I've been on a real journey with telling my story mm. and kind of knowing what to share and what not to share yeah. and when to be honest and when not to be. Um, and it's something I've really struggled with, I think, actually, um, because there's lots of parts of my story that I think are irrelevant, and it's like, why do I need to be yeah. honest about that? But um, a few weeks ago, I was in Ireland um, at like a youth summer camp, and I was telling my story there. And I shared part of my story that I've never shared before because I thought it was irrelevant, yeah. and it wouldn't make any difference anyway. Um, and I finished, and I got to the end of it, and I was like, oh, you know, I don't really know why I said that, but this one young person came up to me and was yeah. like, what you just said spoke to me so much, that's exactly what has happened to me. Yeah. Um, so I think it's really important to understand that what we might think is irrelevant in our own story yes. isn't in somebody, to somebody else, yeah, you know, it totally. can make the world of difference to them. So I think just to encourage you guys in that, to be open and honest um, and to know that it still has power, even if you think it doesn't. I think it's really important to practice our stories. It says in the Bible that you always have to be ready to give an answer for the hope that you have and the hope is Jesus and so when our friends and our family and people we meet ask us why we're a Christian, what's our testimony, what's our story, let's be ready to give them an answer. A few weeks ago when my friend asked me why I was a Christian and to share a little bit of my story I had two minutes before she got out the car and got into work and so actually it got me thinking that we need to practice sharing our stories in the small moments and also yeah. the bigger moments whether you've got 10 20 30 people at a youth group in front of you or whether you've got one minute before you go into your maths lesson to answer the question let's be ready to give an answer for the hope that we have who is Jesus because we know that through our stories it can impact people's lives have a great day guys and we'll see you again tomorrow bye